Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Tristan, and I like to make stuff. In this video, I'm going to be going over my desk setup. So, my setup is actually part of a larger home office. You should check out this video to see the whole space. For now, I'm going to focus on my corner of the office and how I blend my aesthetic with functionality. I'm constantly building and creating things, so I wanted to create a space that enabled me to do that while still being an expression of my personality. And with that, let's get right into it. So first up is the desk itself. I built the desk myself with a butcher's block countertop and some metal legs. The wood grain on top is actually a vinyl wrap. It was originally this more orange brown color, but I wanted something lighter and I didn't feel like refinishing the wood at the time. So I just wrapped it instead. It was a nice way to change the appearance of my desk really quickly and the new color complements the items in my setup much better. Next up is my chair. I use the Uplift Pursuit and I've had it for about two years now. It's a pretty comfortable chair and I really like the design of it. It has a good amount of adjustability and the fabric back keeps me nice and cool even in the summer. I use it every single day and it's held up really well for me. So moving on, the giant display on my desk is the Samsung Odyssey G9, a 49 inch curved ultra wide monitor. This thing has a ton of screen real estate, but the curve definitely took some getting used to. Multitasking on it is really seamless, especially as a developer, I'll usually have anywhere from 2 to a billion windows open, so having such a wide display helps out a lot. I know a lot of people just use dual monitor setups, but I'm not a fan of bezels, so this is perfect for me. I built an Ambilight kit with a Note MCU and Hyperion and hooked it up to this monitor. It creates this nice subtle glow, which really adds to the ambiance of my setup. It also acts as bias lighting, which helps fight eye strain and takes gaming to a whole new level. All in all, this monitor is probably my favorite thing in my entire setup, and I don't think I would use anything else. So up next is my custom-built mechanical keyboard and wireless mouse. The keyboard itself is a D65 from KVD fans. It's a gasket mount case with a really sleek aesthetic. I put in some Everglide Moyu black switches, which are insanely tactile. I really like super tactile clacky keyboards, so these were perfect for that. Here's a quick typing test. The mouse I use is the Logitech MX Master 3. It's a really nice mouse, and it's kind of molded to your hand, so it's pretty comfortable too. Even after using it for hours, I paired it with a Carpio wrist rest from Delta Hub to help out with wrist ergonomics. Moving on, I've got this desk shelf from GroveMade that adds this really nice white accent to my desk. It has this drawer that I keep a bunch of tools in, mostly for building model kits, but I keep some other miscellaneous stuff in there as well. Underneath, I have this wireless charger from Nomad. I usually just plug in my phone to charge it since it's quicker, but having this wireless charger here is also pretty convenient. On the shelf itself, I keep some decorations in my speakers, which are Edifier G2000s. My monitor doesn't have speakers, so I picked these up. They're nice and compact and have pretty good sound quality. I also keep this Tech Funko Pop on my desk. He's my favorite member of the Bad Batch and the one I relate to the most. Next to Tech, I've got my film camera, a Pentax Super Program. I really like shooting in film because the tangibility of the process really appeals to me. With film cameras, you don't get to redo a picture. Once you take the shot, there's no going back, deleting it, and trying again. So you have to think about the picture before you take it, which I think really makes you appreciate the moment you're trying to capture. So inside the desk shelf, I keep some more tools and a bunch of notebooks. I think they add a nice subtle element of color to my setup so that the whole thing isn't just black and white. I think it's a really nice way to store these notebooks. I use them all the time to plan my projects. And to write in them, I use this Rotring 800. This pencil is really nice. It's honestly kind of heavy, but that creates this premium feeling whenever I pick it up and write with it. Pretty much all of my ideas start on paper, because I find it a lot easier to just freely dump my thoughts into a notebook. When I start bringing them to life, I'll typically reference the notebook throughout the process. So, driving a lot of what I do is my custom-built PC. I first put it together in college, and just slowly replaced different parts over the years as I needed to. The brains of the system is a Ryzen 5950X. I've also got an RTX 3090 in here, which I sometimes use for gaming but mainly for machine learning. There's also an RX 570 because I'm working on making a Hackintosh setup on the system as well. So this computer has been able to handle pretty much everything I've thrown at it. Everything from coding, to video editing, to gaming, and even training machine learning models. The only thing is that it generates a lot of heat, so in the summer it can get kind of annoying. So above my desk, I have this GroveMade wall shelf. It really helps frame my whole setup and gives me more space to put little bits of my personality. My favorite thing on this shelf is this drawing of me on an island surrounded by dancing fruit. It was drawn by Ashley, my desk neighbor. 
Next to it are some Gundam models I put together, and a small hanging plant with a Lego Spider-Man dangling off the end of it. So this shelf, like my setup, is actually part of a larger shelf setup where Ashley and I try to blend our personalities. So lastly, to the right of my desk, I've got this IKEA pegboard that I use to store my archery equipment. Archery is one of my favorite hobbies, and I really wanted my space to reflect that. I actually build a lot of my own equipment like these arrows. It's a really relaxing process, and I get to add my own personal touch to every arrow I build. On the pegboard, I have these 3D printed hooks that I use to store some of my bows. It makes it really easy to just take one, head down to the range for a quick practice session, and put it right back when I'm done. It also lets the bows themselves serve as decorations, which is really cool. I think it's really important to blend your personality with your space while still maintaining functionality, and that's what I aim to do with my setup. So that wraps up my desk setup tour. Thanks for tuning in. Subscribe if you enjoyed this video for more content.